G'day guys and welcome to Warcraft News. My name is Sada and this is a weekly series, well mostly weekly series. Uh, I do apologise for last week, my internet was outy. Uh, I couldn't do any research or even even think about uploading a video. So uh, I've had a technician come out, it's sort of fixed, as good as it's going to get. So <laughs> let's just get straight into the news. Okay, so in this two weeks, there's been a lot of stuff come out. A lot of it is just uh, pointless and just time wasting, or at least that's what I, how I feel it is. Um, so there has been lots and lots and lots of changes to both cl uh, characters and classes at the moment, uh, more so with the classes. And um, some people are happy, warriors aren't happy. <laughs> um, but no, there's there's just a lot of stuff going on at the moment. And as as I've reported in the past um, throughout all these expansions, uh, there's just there's it's just way too early just to sort of to get your panties in and all to celebrate how our things are happening. Uh, like at the moment, Chocodons are a possibility, uh, probably not for arenas, but uh, definitely something for some battleground montage type stuff. Well, that's what I'm hoping for anyway. So um, definitely keep a track on what's happening with your characters. There's lots of changes. Uh, there's a lot of people getting beta, uh, even Heroes of the Storm beta. Uh, there's a lot of people getting that as well. So um, there's just a lot of stuff happening right now. And depending on what you're into, it's either relevant or irrelevant. Um, so yeah, so there's that. Also, this week, or in the last two weeks, there has been some new models come out. We have the Undead, the Draenei, the Night Elf male, uh, female, and also the the human, uh, the female human. <laughs> um, look, honestly, I think all of this stuff is working in the right direction. Um, I think that the, the female human's eyes need not to be like this, and, um, you know, it looks like they got, uh, a finger stuck up the bum or something like that. That's just like <laughs> I don't know. It just looks it just looks weird. Everything else looks fine. They just need to sort of bring the the eyelids down just a little bit and uh, you see how they work from there. So um, again, um, you know, they made the tail short on the drone eye. They've they've given them some some huge abs, uh, which kind of seems to be the way that they're going with everything. Um, the the facial features on the undead, I couldn't really tell you um, if they're better or, or worse changes. I've always disliked the look of undead. I've all I've, I've always dislike the look of the the horde races um it's just it's one of the reasons why i don't play them that it just doesn't look good and i'm sorry if you find them uh good or attractive whatever you want to call it uh it's just my personal preference but these models are working in the right direction with nice shading and, and uh, different animations so uh in the comment down below let me know which one's your favorite so in a tale of who can drink the most human or orc it has become clear in the animation that was just released that is in fact the human that can out drink the uh, the male orc so uh there's some some news there you know alliance is always better just in everything <laughs> here we have one of my favorite uh, youtube channels the all me channel and on that channel one of the people that they have to post videos is man at arms uh, which some of you may or may not recognize the uh, the, the pun from uh, He-Man with uh, his sidekick being Man at Arms or his boss, whatever you want to call it. And uh, he crafts different weapons from various games, movies, just etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, and he does actually craft them for a lot of the major movies, so which is very cool. Um, but this week, recently, he's released the Frostmourne and does an extremely good job of it, just like he does with everything else. Um, a link as with everything else for this week will be in the description down below. Double Agent. Now, if you haven't heard of him, then you're probably living under a rock. Uh, it's been really big news out in the community in the last sort of two weeks. Uh, if you haven't heard of him, he is a Pandaren who has not yet picked a faction. So he's not Horde and he's not Alliance. Uh, and he went through and uh, both uh, herbed and mined his way to level 90. So... That's some kind of dedication. There's no way in the world that I could do that. <laughs> Leveling for me is an absolute chore at the best of times. So uh, getting all those herbs and stuff, you know, congratulations to you, Double Agent. No way I could have done it. A lot of props to you. And uh, any any fame slash rewards you get out of it is well-deserved. And uh, here's my props to you, sir. And last but not least, we'll try this one again. Uh, in 6.0, auction houses will be shared. So um, there hasn't been a huge, well, I haven't noticed a huge amount of news come out of this. So this could be a little bit of uh, sort of conjecture at the moment. Um, but the early, early notes are 
that both Horn and Alliance will be sharing the auction houses. So uh, good news for some of those low pop servers. Be interesting to see how the marketplace changes now that uh, both sides will be able to getting on it. So um, servers like Darkspear that have a huge alliance and then Tychondrus who have a huge sort of horde side. It'll be interesting to see how both both of those independent servers react with uh, their both horde and alliance auction houses sharing the databases essentially so that's some that's some interesting news there so guys so that's about all we have time for this week i have uh, a few different channels obviously i've got my sata tv one here i've got my sata plays and also a sata tv mc channel uh links should be down below if not come and check out my website sata tv.com um all of the videos get posted up on there um if I get enough sort of traffic going through there, we will add, add in forums and all that sort of good stuff. But for now, it's just an easy way to keep track of all the videos on all of the different channels that I'm looking after. And if you'd like to get partnered, I can actually help partner your channel and uh, offer you some, some great assistance and help and uh, uh, above all customer service, which is really important to me. But this is the Warcraft News video, not an advertising video. So please remember to like, comment, favorite, subscribe and all that sort of good stuff. And I shall see you next week.